I started as a painter and a drawer, did art for a couple of years, studied in, uh, for art as well, uh, high school, um, and then um, traveled a long time, um, about six, seven years, did import, export, design products. Wanted to become a filmmaker, uh, did, a, did a first year, open year course, where you kind of just grasp the basics. Went traveling again, tried to make a lot of documentaries myself, failed, <laughs> decided if I really wanted to make films I have to go to a real film school, so I went to the Amsterdam uh, Film Academy. This is my second film, A Goat for a Vote, and um, now I'm working on a third film. My parents uh, lived in Kenya 25 years, so I was I kind of grew up there half-half. I was in boarding school in England, but I spent a lot of my youth uh, and also later years working and traveling in East Africa. A Goat for a Vote uh, came to me when I was shooting a different film before, and I spoke to somebody who was running in a, a school, and he was telling me about the elections and how, uh, what children did to bribe votes. And with this kind of concept of children bribing each other to get votes um, gave me an incentive to make a film which I always wanted to make about corruption in Kenya. And making a film about corruption in Kenya, it can be actually quite a dangerous subject. And uh, you have to be very careful that it doesn't uh, affect you and you don't uh, yeah, point your finger at the wrong people. So I think making a film about children and their innocent way of copying what they see in their surroundings uh, is a way to tell a bigger story. And um, when the 2008-2009 Kenyan elections went wrong, um, there was a lot of violence as well. So I, I thought when the children had their elections during the same time the presidents had their elections, you could kind of tell one story directly with the other one. And from there it started. And of course, um, there is a lot of lines uh, because of Magdalene, who is fighting for equality for women. So all the, the characters actually have a lot of different backgrounds um, with Kenyan society and the struggles they have. Kenya is one of the most developed, they call it a developing country, but it's one of the most developed uh, countries of East Africa. It's a role model, for, it's been for many years. Uh, unfortunately, the incident of 2008 uh, really surprised the world. And even now, elections are very much run by one, by the rich and powerful. Um, so the question is, is there really democracy now in Kenya? And is it Kenya going the right direction? Um, personally, I, do, I don't think so. Um, I think Kenya is taking a step backwards. And it's very important for young children to learn the importance of democratic voting. And I think it's a very good incentive that uh, the Kenyan government is implied children to learn how to vote and um, came up with the idea of children voting for their own president. Because in the past it was done by, uh, by the teachers. It's good for them to see their own mistakes and um, I think they learn from being active and seeing um, their own results. So if they choose somebody who is a bad leader because he gave them sweets, and they will, through the year uh, at school, they will experience the effects of, of choosing a bad leader. So I think in that, in that sense, they will maybe learn for their future uh, role as being adults and choosing a president. So I think it, it will make an influence, maybe in the years to come. 
I think um, children from a public school, a rural school, there's a lot of, this school is a, is a good example of a rural school where children, a lot of them have difficult backgrounds. Parents, most of them have never been to school, so they don't understand the school system and they leave it all up to the, par uh, to the teachers. So it's, it's, it's culturally very different from our background where our parents are directly involved uh, what's happening at the school and uh, helping the teachers by you know, sending the kids to school every morning on time and, and going through their, uh, their, their homework. And in Kenya, it, this doesn't exist. So the children are very much left alone. They're pushed away. And the teachers just don't have the manpower to run these huge classes of sometimes 60 students, um, all in different stages. And the children don't get that much attention. And a film like this, which I noticed when they saw the film, is they, they experienced themselves as being important. There's a film made about them. And um, this gave them the sense of, of importance and um, realization that, that what's happening in their little world um, will be viewed in other countries, it's cinematic. And um, yeah, I think it, it, gives them, it gives them a sense of, 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 um, of understanding that, that they are more than just uh, children having to go to school. I would like to think so. Uh, the only thing I, I can say for sure what, what the film did is it showed that the girls, how important it was and it made them realize how stupid it was for them to choose a boy and not a girl because uh, that chance they let it slide and we're noticing now that that Magdalene the second year round has become vice president and also become vice president of the city um, of the um, uh, which call it, of, of, of the state within the state of, of, of Kenya and she's now representing a lot of women and so her position is is suddenly being accepted um, it's a first step, but it's a very big step and that's something I think what the, making a film about her uh, helped her to have other women look at her in a different light and uh, I hope to think that she will uh, accomplish a lot more in the future. I think it does. Um, a goat for vote it does question what's right and what's wrong within their local society. Uh, is it right that a rich boy should win over a poor boy? Is it right that girls don't have uh, the ability to rule? In Holland we're more focused on Dutch subjects. Um, Cutbacks are being made everywhere and, and we feel them very much in the film industry in Holland as well. So everybody's focus is more local and it's difficult for me to make a film in Africa which is so far away from Holland. I, I think I managed because the, the, um, the subjects um, talk about a, a broader sense. Uh, we can all understand the importance of voting the importance of democracy um, and you know we all want to fight for for the the freedom uh, of speech and uh, the equality of women so I think in that sense the film is not only about Kenyan society but world society <laughs>